Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the homestead. We got homestead Jim out here supervising. Um, I owe dad an apology. Dad bought the dump trailer. It was $9,400 and it's a 2023 Griffin GT 714. I made that, I said halves or something like that. Dad paid for it. It was a donation to the channel. Um, so I made that mistake last video. He called me, he goes, blah, blah, blah. so <laughs> I want to make that amends real quick. All right, folks, here we go. We're in here working busy. This is what we came up with. I didn't film any of this, but this is our Frankenstein stopper plate. This is our county line 24 ton wood splitter. This has a 24 inch throw. Now what I designed, and I'll show you some pictures here. I'll tell you my welding, what do you think dad, getting a little better? Getting better. A little better, yeah. Popcorn. Yeah, still some popcorn, some popcorn spots. But anyways, we designed and built, and I'll show some pictures of it. We got this scrap metal. So hopefully you can see, all you guys who do fabrication, you can kind of get an idea. We had these two individual plates. We got all this out of the metal dumpster um, where I work. So we had these two individual plates here. We grinded them, we welded them together, we filled in the middle here, and then we welded on a bottom cleat touching the back of the post here. And then conveniently, these had holes in it with threaded rod. So we just cut the threaded rod. As you can see, we bent this. So we want to kind of account for that. If I put you guys on the tripod here, this back plate here now shortens our splitter to 18 inches, 18 and a quarter to be precise. So if we're doing production wood to sell, like this piece here is a 16 inch piece of cherry. We got it on the splitter to get rid of the threaded rod here. Um, put that in the scrap pile. Now we're just shortening our travel time with our wood splitter. We're trying to not reinvent the wheel, but we're trying to just be a little bit more efficient with uh, firewood processing here. As you guys know, we got a dump trailer, thanks to Pops, and we're selling firewood, so we want to be proficient. So these are right hand of the Bible. We have two logs here. It's raining out, so we can't do any real full-blown splitting, but we got two logs here. Let's fire it up. Let's see how it works. It may wobble side to side. We can address this, but this is kind of like a prototype. Again, I'll overlay some photos and some pictures during the uh, fabrication process, but it's all, it's pretty thick steel. This is half inch steel, half inch plate. And the whole thing sticks out roughly seven inches. So again, that's gonna give us 18 inches to the splitter knife exactly. So anything over 18 won't fit kind of like built-in quality control people I sell firewood to their stoves can't fit more than 18 inch one family can't fit more than an 18 inch log so it's part quality control and part speed up the process so let's fire it up and see if it works
know what you can do? Hold on. All right, uh, go ahead. What were you going to say? I think Let's listen to this. Just once to... you get the square, okay, mm -hmm. I think if you cut little shims, Jay, the same length, okay. Well, let me get this out of here. Okay. This is gonna be positioned more of a more of a back. Okay, like that. Okay? Yeah. yeah. You can take a measurement, okay, and cut some steel that will fit. Look at look up. Oh, in the channel here? In the channel, just drop it in. That's gonna keep it from twisting. Because what's happening is because you got nothing supporting the sides, yeah, yeah, it's moving. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, you know. I see okay. what you're saying. That What's way. Steel? Inch and a half. Yeah, see, you need. You need. This is big. See, like this? You need two of those. Okay. Yeah. Probably four, and you can kind of zing them together. Okay? Yeah. You follow me? Yeah, I follow you. Miles would. Get, put this back the way you want it, like, and, and measure this distance from here to here. Oh, I did that Roughly. already. I did that yeah, already. It doesn't have to be exact. All right, so what Dad, Dad's going to run back inside. What Dad came up with is we cut two shims right here, as you can see. And these will sit in here. We just have to make a block out of this. These will sit in here. I'll show you guys in a second. So those are just loose sitting in there now. We only have that little bit of rocking. So between that, once they're welded with the ratchet strap, that shouldn't go anywhere. You see what I'm saying? We have those, those in there. I'm gonna actually finish that and we're gonna try it again. So hopefully you guys can follow along with what's going on here. Um, I'm actually using the wood splitter with a uh, metal shim to actually hold the metal I'm working on. It actually worked pretty good. Um, I did this in a little bit. You'll see me. What I'm doing is, is these are the spacers. We cut two spacers for each side of the bottom of our platform extension jig. I don't even know what we call it. I don't even have a name for it. Uh, and then we'll clamp them together with some magnets, which you'll see in a second. Um, and yeah, needless to say, uh, I'm enjoying this. I don't do metal work. I'm not a professional welder, um, but it's becoming a little bit of a hobby of mine. I've done woodworking my whole life. As you guys know, we do the firewood and the tree work and all that stuff, but sometimes doing the fab work and the metal work, I really do enjoy it. Um, again, I'm nowhere near a uh, professional, but I really have fun with it. So originally dad said, weld the two shims together and then just stick them in there. Well, once I stuck them in there, uh, I was like, you know what? Why don't we just weld it all together? So we basically made uh, a new cleat for the bottom of this. You could see me here using the um, welding magnets. Those are the two shims we cut. I got them set up with the magnets. Um, we'll do a few tacks on it just to get it to hold. And then I believe, yeah, I tip it up so I can run a bead in it. But yeah, I'm happy with the progress. The welder was running good. Hey, we're all done. I know the lighting sucks. We ended up, we ended up just welding. Those shims dad said, right in the place. Look at that. Mint. No wobble left to right. We put a nut, put a weld on each one of these nuts. We'll do the final adjustment. But other than that, I think we're, uh, yeah. Might not even need the strap. That's cool. All right, well, we don't have all the finishing touches on, but it's enough to try it with that new welded plate. We haven't adjusted our screws yet, but we don't need that. This is a 16 inch piece of cherry green.
Well, I don't know about you, but that works pretty good with the strap. Once we fine tune the uh, the back bolts there, I think we're styling, folks. Needless to say, we're going to be blowing through some wood pretty quickly now. That just saves us cycle time. So the minute we hit the trigger on the um, lever here, the splitter is instantly in the wood. Um, yeah, I love it. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. It wasn't anything pretty, but it was all recycled material, and we're going to make it work. So God bless. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Stay tuned. We're going to blow through some wood um, in the next video. So yeah, God bless. Thanks for watching. See you guys out in the woods. Tell you, it may be ugly. But it fits and it serves a purpose. We'll be blowing through some production wood now.